so I was just doing some video editing, not related to YouTube, but just general video editing, and I noticed I was actually getting some performance issues. Uh, the video was lagging whenever I played back, and I realised I've only got four gigabytes of RAM uh, available, which isn't a lot. Uh, I think it says there. Yep, there we go. No, 3.9 gigabytes available, which is basically four because yeah, some of it is used anyway. And I actually have eight gigabytes installed in my machine. Uh, not currently. Uh, I'm doing diagnosis. I have uh, some of this when it decides to focus. Uh, it's difficult to do two hands. I need a third hand. There you go. Yep, I have some Corsair Vengeance RAM. So it's quite nice RAM. But I think this might be a faulty stick. So I'm, I'm just going to take you through the process of actually figuring out if it is faulty. Because why not? So let's just power off the machine again. Uh, you got a nice background there. So essentially what I'm going to do first off is just in case that this stick happened not to be incorrectly I am going to install this into my machine and see if it comes with 8 gigabytes. Okay, so you can see my, I've got my cooler here and the RAM is actually just down there Let's move this and hope it doesn't fall There we go, okay so you can see the other stick around just there and this one needs to go into the other red slot because it's colour coded so yeah, let's just stick this back in and see what happens. I think this might be a faulty stick though. Or broken. I've had it for a while, so it's pretty broken. So now it's loaded. Let's see. And now it's a different background. So task manager. Let's see. Does it now say eight gigabytes? Go away, Spotify. Nobody cares. Yes, there we go. So you should download to see that. And where will you focus? There we go. 7.9 gigabytes available. That's an entire load more memory. And that this is all just because uh, essentially I believe that stick may have been dislodged a bit, may not have gone in properly whenever I last moved it. Which in fact wasn't too long ago, which would explain. But anyway, now it's all back up and that was a very simple fix. So if you're ever actually having problems with RAM you can always try this, as it, it will show if it's just not improperly. But otherwise there's a tool called Memtest 84, 86 or 84 plus, I can't remember. But essentially that's a um, a thing that you put onto a disc, boot up onto the disc. And then you can run that and it'll come up with errors if you have broken RAM or motherboard. Uh, when I last used it, um, it actually came up with an error, it was for motherboard. But yeah, there you go. Thank you for watching them. Oh no, yeah, that's it for this video then. Uh, join me next time uh, if you want to see more videos from me. Uh, so subscribe to my channel then. And yeah, bye.